Yo, what's good? What's good? Back with a new one, man. And today we got the Dwight Howard and Shaq situation going on, bro. And let me just say this. Other than the foo foo shit that I done seen Dwight Howard do over his career, Dwight Howard is a bad motherfucker when he choose to play and when they allow him to play. I really was hoping Dwight Howard could have helped my boy Steve Nash get a ring. Kobe, Dwight Howard, Steve Nash, I thought we had something. I thought, I thought my boy was finally finna get a fucking ring. You know what I'm saying? Kobe being who he is, Dwight Howard being who he is, Steve Nash being who he is, Steve Nash hurt, Kobe hurt, Dwight Howard not, you know what I'm saying? Him and Kobe can't get along. It was a disaster. Kobe wouldn't let Steve Nash be the point guard. Steve Nash had to come and be the two guard. It was a disaster, man. But when you look at what Dwight Howard just did over the past week, the numbers, oh, I mean, you could say it's a, another league or this and that, man. Dwight Howard's over there dominating. Dwight Howard was dominating in the fucking NBA. He's not a washed up player. But like I said, we all know that these leagues have their superstars. And they want their superstars to be the superstar because the superstar bring in the money. So they pick and choose who they want to come off and, and run the team and, and get all these shots and, and do all this. You know what I'm saying? Nigga off the bench can be just as good. But can he put, get the time and, and the amount of uh, leverage and, and, and leeway that the superstar can get? Nah, nigga, your jersey ain't selling like that. You don't sell these tickets. You feel me? So, let's hear what Dwight Howard got to say to Shaq, man. Let's get into it. You can take it any type of way you want to take it. Stop the hate. Just stop the hate. You hated on JaVale McGee and almost cost this man his career. Mm. For what? What is you hating on JaVale McGee for? This man came way after you. He probably grew up wishing he could be like you, because I know you, to be hating. And I don't even think that's hating. I think that's jealousy. And you have no need to be jealous of anybody. Hating ass Shaq again, man. I just did a video a couple weeks ago about Shaq being a hypocrite for promoting the Hebrews and Negro film in one of his movie theaters. Now we got Shaq again coming out, hating on Dwight Howard. I posted this in my community tab, Dwight Howard stats. I'll have that up right here. And yeah, man, he's nigga doing great crazy. over there I've seen it. in the Taiwan League. I've seen the now nigga we got Shaq, of course, criticizing Dwight Howard again. But those of you who missed it, here's a clip. <laughs> Shaq, Dwight yes. Howard is killing it over in Taiwan, is he not? Hey, what you laughing for, man? You want me to get remember there? You want me to have facts? Facts. facts. Nothing facts. but. Okay, facts is you should never be complimented for being a good father because that's what you're supposed to do, right? That's true. He's supposed, he's supposed to have 30 points playing against dude 5 8. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. Oh, oh. yeah. There you go. Clap. You're killing it, Great man. Job. Look at that. This league reminds me of the Lifetime Fitness League. Every Saturday when I go work out on That's Saturday. That's a lifetime fitness league. Yeah, <laughs> lifetime fitness <laughs> league. Cut it out. You don't, you yeah. don't do 38 and 25 <laughs> okay. rebounds and nine assists. <laughs> okay. Come they on, went crazy. man. I ain't gonna lie. The numbers are crazy. Great job, Dwight. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so that's what Shaq had to say about Dwight Howard playing in the Taiwan League. Of course, Shaq is going to hate, be critical of it because he's been critical of Dwight Howard playing in the NBA. So... His comments does not surprise me. But Dwight Howard didn't take too kind to those comments. Dwight Howard went on Instagram Live, and this is what he had to say. Here's the video. Before I highlight today's clips, y'all already know what y'all need to do on this YouTube channel. Smack that thumbs up button. Let's try to get another thousand plus likes, man. That really does help my channel grow. And y'all have been doing a and, and, and shout out to Self Talk, man, for the video. Wonderful job at doing that. Salute to y'all. Let's get back into this video. in the world. So stop hating basketball in Taiwan. And I'm playing at the Lifetime Fitness League. 
do not disrespect my teammates in this league and these people in Taiwan like that. That is highly disrespectful. And mm. it's hating. And, and it's coming from the same nigga that trying to tell Kyrie Irving not to disrespect or not to be anti-Semitic. Boy, Shaq, you tough. You too old to be hating. Mm. You too big to be hating. <laughs> <laughs> you supposed to be Superman, the original Superman, mm. Shaquille O'Neal. The original Superman is hating, huh? The OG Superman is hating. Come on, man. We know what you did in basketball. We know how much money you got. You talk about it. We know how much stores you got. We know everything that you have done, Shaquille O'Neal. Stop hating. Mm. There's no need to hate. You done did everything in life that everybody wished that they could do. He, they talking, be he talking to that nigga soul right now. This how you talk to a nigga soul, boy. He's Superman. They want to be you. They have wanted to be you. Until they see now how much you be hating on people for no reason. Mm. You hated on JaVale McGee and almost cost this man his career. For what? What is you hating on JaVale McGee for? This man came way after you. He probably grew up wishing he could be like you. But why would I want to be, by, be somebody that hate on other people? Come on, man. You are too old and too, too wise, because I know you, to be hating. And I don't even think that's hating. I think that's jealousy. And you have no need to be jealous of anybody. Everybody that you have hated on and been jealous or talked about, they have loved you at some point. And I'm not letting the haters win. I'm not mad. I'm passionate about the stuff that I say. This man called my teammates in this league sorry, basically. Mm, he called us he the did. Lifetime Fitness League. <laughs> this ain't no Lifetime Fitness League. Mm. It's dudes here that are taller than me. Mm. Everybody dream and goal was not to just make it to the NBA. And everybody not going to make it to the NBA. That's facts. Why? Why can't everybody make it to the NBA, to the NFL, to, to the, to the uh, major league? Why? Oh, you don't know? Better play ball correctly. It ain't always about the skills. But we don't need people hating on other people because they're not there. Shaq, when you was 37 years old and your 19th year in the league, because this would have been my 19th year in the league, would you have come to Taiwan and played? Would you have come and been in shape? Because I'm 265. I'm not 390 pounds. I'm 265, and I'm in the best shape of my life. Mm. <laughs> he talking you can come out here and give me 38 rebounds and 38 points and 25 rebounds. You can talk about the points all you want. But you know, Shaq, you know it takes effort to go get rebounds. And I got a whole lot of rebounds in my life. And it took effort to do that. A lot of effort. A lot of effort to go block shots. A lot of effort to go play basketball for this long. And you don't have no right to be hating. For what? I'm not angry, y'all. I just want y'all to know. I'm not angry at all. I'm not angry. But come on, man. You too old and too grown to be hating on other people. Come on, man. You got kids. We both got kids. Your kids can never go online and say that the White Howard hated on my dad in a negative way. Never. Will I joke about? Then, then Shaq, nigga, then Shaq kid play in the D League or something, and now he playing no league. If I'm not mistaken. How you talk on live and all that stuff. Yeah, that's what people do. Or you might be in the NBA now. You do. You, might you be had in the a NBA. whole show called know. Shacked in the Food. Where all you did was talk about people and how they played basketball. And all the things that they done ever did. You did that to all these people. And now you still hating? You're not even in the league. But you about to be a billionaire. Come back and show all these people that you, you, you Superman, come back and, and do it the right way. Ain't no need for you to hate on nobody. 
It's Shaq like joking, that's fine. I love joking too. Joking and hating is one, it's two different things. I promise you. But don't talk about these Taiwanese people like this, man. Don't talk about this Taiwanese league like that, man. Don't do that. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, Shaq did an interview the other day. Well, today, actually, earlier today, somebody asked him about me playing basketball in uh, Taiwan. And he said, uh, oh, what would you congratulate? Do you congratulate somebody for being a good father? Yeah, I'm going to congratulate somebody for being a good father. Because it's not a lot. It, it's some, it might not be some good fathers out here or some good people. So when somebody do good, mm. it don't cost you a dime to tell somebody that they doing good. It don't cost you a dollar to tell somebody that I love you and that you are great. It don't cost you nothing. I can say that right now to all 3,000, 4,000 people that's watching this right now. I love y'all. That ain't cost me nothing. It ain't nothing came out of my pocket for saying that I love y'all. So why does he got to get on TV, podcast, whatever, and talk about people? He did it to Kyrie the other day. Mm. Now Kyrie is an idiot because he made a comment. Come on, man. He an idiot, dog. An idiot, Shaq. That's cold. I ain't going to lie. The nigga did say an idiot. Him and, him and Charles Barkley. And we're going to get to the Charles Barkley video. We're going to do that, too. Like, what? These people are... These people are beyond success or what we call success here in America. Successful. And these niggas still out here talking like this? Once again, what we just say in our previous video, niggas don't know how to talk to other men anymore. Nigga called them an idiot for making a post that he also showed in his theater. Shit. Charles Barkley, Kyrie is an idiot because he made a, because he decided that he want to stand up for himself. He an idiot. Mm, that's Come the, on, man. He decided to stand up for himself. TV to make and ourselves look good, man. At all. That's why you ain't never seen me get on TV and talk about nobody in a negative way. My mama always told me to keep that to myself. These people got family. These people got kids. These people got jobs. These people got things that they trying to do in their life. Facts. That's true. And somebody, you won't say it to Shaq face. Come on, bro. This ain't, see, you, what you're trying to do is cause a riot and cause a ruckus and cause fighting and all that stuff. I ain't trying to cause no fighting and I'm not scared to fight nobody. I have no problems with nobody. If we got a problem, we can have a problem. But I don't have a problem with nobody. And this ain't about fighting Bingo. Shaq. This ain't about me being Bingo. angry at Shaq and none of that. Just stop. I this is for it. anybody out there that's hating. There's too much hate in the world, bro. Too much. Spread more love, man. Spread more love. Stop the hate. This is why we in the issues that we having now in our life. Because we hating on each other. Am I too sensitive? No, I'm not too sensitive. The world is too sensitive. Bingo. Bingo. Because we can't have a conversation without people getting upset or in their feelings because we having a real conversation. Mm. That's the problem. And I'm going to say it now because I am tired of people doing that to each other. I'm not mad. And you can say I'm mad and you can, people can take this any type of way that they want to take it. You can take it any type of way you want to take it. But what I'm telling you is we got to stop. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I got to say I agree with Dwight. And I can't take Shaq serious no more until he comes out and answer why he called Kyrie Irving an idiot when he himself, his movie theater, promoted Hebrews to Negroes. So I would love to hear his opinion on that. He can. And of course, <laughs> we all know why he did that. But, man, uh, great video from Self Talk. Man, y'all make sure y'all check his content out. Uh, man, listen, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Like I said, now, I done seen Dwight Howard do some foo foo shit <laughs> in the NBA. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But um, what he's speaking on right here, man, is 100% authentic, and I agree with him, you know? Um, so, man, it's it just a lot of it's a lot of pain going around. And like he said, the world is sensitive. 
Because when niggas out here trying to speak up for themselves and stand up for themselves, for some reason, we are sensitive to that. But we're not sensitive to the gun violence. We're not sensitive to uh, niggas out here eating us, trafficking organs, killing our kids, promoting sex dolls and, and all type of weird shit with kids. Like, we ain't sensitive to that, but we sensitive to motherfuckers trying to learn about themselves. Yeah, some bullshit going on. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. And I'll see y'all on the next one, man. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Let's get it. Bellow on the bellow on the